one of the beneficiaries of the Oshun State um, Partnership with um, Saxony Handheld in Germany on agricultural training. One of the student beneficiaries of the state government, Oshun State Government um, Empowerment, where we were taken to we were taken to Germany for a three months program. In Germany, there was there were lots of, of um, eye-opening experiences. For example, you learned how you nothing gets to be wasted in the agricultural cycle, like what happens in Nigeria. People burn land, people burn their farmlands, and the rest. And all those things don't really happen in Germany. So people have a way of reconditioning their soil. Basically, we learned more of um, for cattle fattening and sheep. But you know, they don't have goods over there. But then with the knowledge, we can. That's what we're trying to apply here. Like, one of the major things we learned there was feed formulation. Okay, I think as you're aware, the state government sent five people to us to also learn. Okay, and I think also this same program that the government is doing with uh, James 4. The, the Gems 4 is also training, I think, about 2,000 boat farmers in Oshun State. Do you understand? So, like we said, after the proof of concept, I think the government plans to expand the scope where they will want more people in Oshun State to, um, to be able to um, learn how to rear goat better and then to be able to actually enrich them more. What we have for cattle are three different species. We have the white fulani. We have the Sokoto Gudali, which is called Bokolo as well, and then we have the Indamas. So the Indama is the one that is a bit rare, it's not as popular as all the other breeds of, um, of cattle. But they have the advantages because they have a lot of uh, disease resistance. They're very tough, but they don't have a lot of bulk as, um, as in weight on them. <laughs>